An obese third grader was taken away from his mother and placed in a foster home. And this is something that we've talked about at length before. You know, you have politicians proposing legislation that would take children away from parents if the kids are like obese uh, because they would have. Uh, they, the parents would be charged with neglect, basically. Right. So this is one of the first cases where a child was actually taken away from his mother, placed in foster care, uh, and I guess we'll see what happens from here on. But there was one other case previously where an overweight, or I should say obese, child was taken away from her family in Ohio, and in the end, when she went to foster care, she only got bigger. So it so. didn't it didn't help, and later on they found out that she had a genetic predisposition. Okay, I remember that case, yeah. and I was against uh, the kid being taken away. So what now? Okay, it's not a big deal, but as usual, I was right, and in this case, I'm against it again. First of all, because of what we said at the time, which is you don't know why she's obese, right? You're guessing that it's neglect, but you don't know for sure that it's neglect, right? Maybe she had a genetic predisposition, which she did in that case. By the way, if you're 200 pounds as a third grader, it's usually, not, I shouldn't say usually, but there's a decent chance that it is genetic, because that is such an extreme case, right? Second of all, I, don't, I just don't agree that we should get into the business of judging uh, parents and how much they fed their kids or didn't feed their kids. I know it's, like I said, it's an outlier, it's an extreme case, but no way, man, no way I'm gonna get that into the nitty gritty of judging the parents. And not only that, it's such a clownish way to combat childhood obesity. It's like, oh, it's the parents' fault. So let's just take them out of the household and place them in another household and we'll see what happens from there. Mm. Really, that's your solution? Yeah, no, look, Child Protective Services is incredibly important. Some people abuse their kids and pose enormous uh, possible damage to them. Some people neglect their kids because they're on drugs. I mean, you should hear the stories of the meth uh, addicts and they live the kids for days, the kids nearly starve, etc. There's a real need for it. But sometimes it gets carried away mm -hmm. and it feels like it's got to micromanage the parenting. I get it, man, 200 pounds is a third grade. That's really bad. Nobody's disputing that, right? But the proper answer to me isn't like, okay, then you don't know how to parent, I'm gonna take him away. Right, it's definitely not a good solution. I think if anything, maybe investigating the case more, counseling, teaching about healthy eating habits, trying to figure out whether or not that family has ac access to healthy food. A lot of families can't afford fresh fruits and vegetables, right? Is that the mother's fault? Is that the father's fault? So you gotta investigate each individual case, not just come up with a knee-jerk reaction to it. Uh, it's probably Barney Frank's fault. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I was watching Fox News today, and they told me everything is Barney Frank's fault. Uh, the economic crash, obesity, etc., people being gay. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Michael, why don't you go over the uh, mic where uh, uh, Dave is? Because I, I actually want to ask you, because you got a kid, right? Uh, now, there's nothing wrong with your kid, so nobody's going to come take it away. But I'm curious what you think of the 200... Obese father, actually. What's that? My kid has no obese father. <laughs> he has an obese father, that's the problem. Is his mic on? Okay. Yes. All right, so yes. what do you think about that case where they take away the 200-pound kid? I think, it, you know, I think it's terrible. I think that there are other avenues to go down to try and whether it's genetic or whether it's poor parenting, I think that that is something that can be counseled and helped mm -hmm. and in, in ways other than taking a child from his mother. So no matter, if that kid loses 100 pounds and he's not with his mother, that is worse for the kids than being heavy with his mother, in my opinion. And I think that... You know, that unquestionably, they have to do, go down other avenues. And like Anna said, there's that one girl last year, they found out it was a genetic predisposition. Even if it isn't a genetic predisposition, do other things other than take the child away from it. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm amused by the idea, Michael brought up. They look at the kid and they're like, you know what, I think your dad's too fat. I'm taking him away from you. <laughs> then forget you, I got some serious issues. They're like, pro. Good news, bad news, <laughs> okay, but mainly bad news. Your dad's too fat and we're taking him away.